what kind of man you looking for, Frida? Um, I'm looking. I just I actually wrote some notes down. I'm looking for vanilla. Look, I'm looking for some for what? Vanilla, vanilla, like the song, like Jack Harlow's song. I'm looking for vanilla. He does have to have. A, he gotta have some type of income. If I'm on a fixed income, then he gotta have some type of money. So it's no difference. I don't. I don't want a guy that doesn't have any money. You don't. Do you do drugs? Do, do I do drugs? Yeah. What kind of drugs? To be more specific. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. All right, let's jump right into this, man. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is going on with our older sisters. It's, it's, it's as if something skipped over them. And it's that thing where you should have learned somewhere coming up. You know, you should have learned something in dating, being with somebody. But it seemed like somewhere they got skipped over. And then they hit in them 40s. And now it's like, well, somebody's supposed to. Well, this woman thinks somebody's supposed to come and save her. What they said, come and save her at the end of her, I don't know, who knows. But she's looking for a rich white man to come and take her away. Rich white guy, please come get this woman. Don't leave her to us. We don't want it. But she's on Kendra G's show uh, looking for a rich white man. So we're going to get that and let y'all see this. So before we do, y'all know what to do. Kick it off. Hit that subscribe, like, share, and that notification bell. Please comment, 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 because this is going to be why. I want to hear what y'all got to say as this thing going. Y'all ready? Let's get it popping. Let's go. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hey, let me see this here. I'm just right Hey, Kendra. Hey, girl. <laughs> is it here, right? Let me see. Yes. Okay. It's like the same kind that you had, that you wear. I had a, yep, I got a red wig. Yep. Yes. <laughs> What's your name, love? Um, my name is Frida. Frida, okay. Don't have your head cut off. So bring the thing up. All right, there we go. Frida, where are you calling me from? Where you live? I'm in Washington, D.C. D.C. is in a building. How old are you? 40. 40. Okay, don't, don't forget. Don't cut your head off. 40. What you That's do for okay. There you go. What you do for a living? Well, I'm I'm in the process of getting my CNA um, nurse aid certificate. And my interests include having my own business. So I'm in the process of like different opportunities right now. Like just is no difference from being in between a job or whatever or career. But um, nurse aid, nail tech, hospitality, that's the type of industry that I'm in. Are you an employee right now? Yes. Someone please tell me, how can you have all these titles and no job? Hmm? How can you have all these titles and no freaking job? This woman sat there and said she had all these things. See, it sounds stupid anyway. You're going to be a nurse's aide, nail tech, some other mess. Other, how are you going to do all that? Isn't a nurse's aide like full time or something? And this nail tech, what you're going to do, leave the hospital, run over there, do nails and go somewhere else and go somewhere. Y'all just stop it, man. And you're unemployed. So you ain't got nothing. Girl, like, how long have you been unemployed for? I'm not gonna cap. It's been like maybe um, a couple years, but um, I have like I'm in the process of getting back to work. I'm have looking you, have for you been a job. Your bills for the last couple of years. I mean, some people, you know, sometimes you have family help you. You might be on a fixed income or whatever. But right now, like I'm in between. I'm like building things to where as though, you know, they'll come to fruitation. So do you want to date while you're currently unemployed? No, I don't, don't want to date. That's a great question. I just then want why are you calling I, me? No, it's not that I don't want to date. I'm calling you because I'm looking for a male and I'm looking to have a good time with somebody but and get to know someone. Not, but that doesn't mean that not, that that is the essence of dating. Getting to know somebody Well yeah actually Actually, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking are you? to date. You're 40 years old. Yes. Girl, I feel like uh -huh. this chick got uh got Kendra reevaluating her life. She like, oh, wait a minute, you 40? I'm like, 
It's like, what is going on? And then this lady sitting there popping this gum. I can't stand it. I told you, when you go in on these videos, put that gum away. She's just popping that gum while she's talking to her. Oh, my God. Y'all got to learn a lot of things. Ladies, just stop it. Just stop. Okay, so can you keep contradicting every, everything I ask you? But isn't a lot of things contradictory? I'm trying to be careful with my speech because I don't want to, this year, 2024, I don't want to say anything no, I think you're trying, negative. I'm trying to be careful with your speech because you don't want to tell the truth. I do want to tell the truth. I do want to tell the truth. So the just, okay, because I asked you if you want a date and you said, no, I don't want a date. And then you said, and then I said, because this is a dating show. So you will only call me if you want a date. And then you came back and said, well, I do want to get to know somebody. So that's dating. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Yeah. So you're right. I'm not saying that I'm right. You are right. I so, made a mistake. Yes, mm -hmm. I did say that I didn't want to date, but not because of my circumstances. That shouldn't disqualify for me finding a companion because just because just like when you're in a relationship and you end up either if you end up moving in with that person and some things happen you could be married and god will you know things happen where he might lose his job what's the difference from me wanting to be with somebody and you know people try to put you in these places and we i need to i'm not going to let you put me in no category because if i want to be with somebody it's not hard for me to get somebody but i did call your show to actually um yes i am dating i'm kind of dyslexic there but i did hear you yes i do want to date okay well here's the deal so the re I, I literally ask everybody that question when they're not working if they feel like they're in a position to date because um i mean yes when you're not working i would think all your what does my job have to do with anything if we constantly saying well if you're having casual sex and you're not getting any money at least my head is on my head is screwed on right because what do you understand what i'm saying no. like man i'm glad she said no because i'm sitting here like i can't get what this woman is trying to say to save my life got me sitting here looking crazy i'm like what huh like she is boom 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 all over the place that's a 40 year old woman it's like, what are you talking about? Put me in the box, put me in the place, and I want a date. Yes, I don't want, yeah, I do. This is a 40-year-old woman, guys. This is what we're looking at at 40. Man, something's wrong. It's got to be in the water. Got to be in the water. Got to be. Y'all drinking old water, though. That's that old damn pipe water. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not drinking the new water. Y'all drinking that shit straight out the faucet. Still on the outside faucet. You don't? It doesn't make sense to you? No. Okay, well, it doesn't make sense, but um, a lot of things aren't making sense out here. When you talk to a guy, whether it's online, I just want somebody that I, that I can meet just as well as me, you know, if I, when I go outside or when I'm outside or whatever. And wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 we're going to move forward. We're going to move forward. And I have no problem. I wanted you to understand that that was, that's the question I asked everybody. So I didn't want you to feel personally attacked. Everybody that tells me they don't have a job, I always say, do you feel as though you're in a position to date? Because one would think the better you are, the better chances of your dating pool is, right? So I would think if I don't have mm -hmm. a job, I, I, mm -hmm. I talk about this all the time. Throughout my life, I have uh -huh. had single seasons. Um, excuse, uh -huh. excuse me, single seasons. And the moments when I've lost my radio job and I was living off unemployment checks, I wasn't dating because I was trying to get my shit together. I was trying to pour into myself to make me a better woman so I could date at the level that I really wanted to date at. When I was unemployed, I didn't want to date at that level. But listen, everybody is human. So that's the that's the backstory behind that question. So we can go forward, but that's Great. the backstory behind that question. So Frida, keep the phone up so your head's not cut off. Okay. Do you have any children? Um, yes, I have a 15-year-old son. Okay. And so this is Frida. DC, 40, CNA, currently unemployed, mom to a 15-year-old. Have you ever been married? Um, no. No. All right. What kind of man are you looking for, Frida? Um, I'm looking, I just, I actually wrote some notes down. I'm looking for vanilla. Look, I'm looking for looking somebody. looking for what? Vanilla. Vanilla. Like the song, like Jack Carlo's song. I'm looking for vanilla. I know. I know, I know this woman just didn't say that. I know she didn't. Not this 40-year-old woman. 
I'm looking for somebody that's smart. I'm looking for somebody that's willing to be fruitful because the se it depends on what season you're in. When I say that I want a God-fearing man, I'm very specific about details about what type of guy that I'm, you know, into. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking for somebody that's attractive, somebody that is direct, somebody that, um, what if I said that I'm looking for somebody that's damaged because I could be damaged. I'm looking for somebody that's on the same level as me. So you want a man that's not, not working? He doesn't have to be working because okay. it's not about so how would he money. be fruitful? He, at least, I mean, what I'm saying as far as being fruitful is that we all just like we're going to get to that question, but I'm not going to like, okay, we're going to get to the question about me. So when I'm saying that he's being fruitful, meaning that he wants to be fruitful and that's biblical, uh, fruitful and multiply, meaning good things are coming to him. You know what I mean? No. I thought, I'm starting to think it's a mental issue going on right here. Um, I don't know what she's trying to say. I'm like Kendra. I have no idea what this woman is trying to say. She called a white man vanilla. Um, then she went through this whole thing about being fruitful and it's biblical and I, somebody come get their auntie. Let's just get, y'all come get your auntie. Get her. Just get her. Oh, okay. So what do you, well, you mean, no, I'm trying to understand seriously because fruitful and I could be wrong. That's why I'm asking you to explain. Fruitful well, it's, me. it's in the Bible. It says, be fruitful and multiply. So How I'm do you multiply saying, if you don't have any money to multiply with? Because if you don't have a job, I'm assuming he does have, have to money. have a, He got to have some type of income. If I'm on a fixed income, then he got to have some type of money. So it's no difference. I don't, I don't want a guy that doesn't have any money. You understand what I'm saying, Kendra? I want somebody, I need somebody that has some type of income, but that's not exactly, I'm, I'm the type of female, I'm not going to be in your business. It's none of my business because I can feed, I can, I can cook my own meal, I can cook my own food, but if we're dating, in all reality, if we're dating, then it's either you're taking me out or, you know, for a cup of coffee, simple as a cup of coffee. So what's the difference? Okay, okay. So I think it's kind of funky that a lot of these females out here, they want to date these high quality men, but they're not admitting that they're not high quality or that they're damaged or that, okay, I'm starting from here. I'm going to start dressing better. I'm going to start taking better care of myself, just like you were talking about self-reflection. What's the difference from being truthful to yourself? You're not a high quality woman, so how are you going to want a high quality man? Are you talking about yourself right now? I'm not talking about myself because I. <laughs> Kids are like, who the fuck are you, are you talking to? <laughs> oh, she started going on. The kids are like about to check her. She's like, who are you talking to? You talking to, talking about yourself? Oh my God. This woman talking about somebody. You on sex shit. That's me. You on government assistance. You don't have a job. You ain't had a job in years. And hey, you talking about somebody else better have something. I'm on a fixed income. No, you on Section 8. You on governor system. Let's just be real. That is, I don't know why y'all trying to count that as something. And nothing she said that keeps her from working. She said she ain't worked in years. Why? Your son 15. Why you haven't worked? Now you look for somebody vanilla to come and take care of you. And going off on Kendra. Man, Kendra better get her. She I have, I'm very high maintenance. Oh, you I have a, I have wait, wait, wait. Ooh, I got to understand. So you're talk so the women you were just talking about, you don't put yourself in that kind of category? Saying that I'm uh, saying that I'm not high quality. I'm not high quality right now because I'm not making like six, I'm not making a million dollars. I'm not making a hundred K. I'm not making 75 K. So so um, I, I, I want to make sure I'm understanding. So you're saying other women are delusional, but you are not there. You're not delusional. I've been delusional before. Oh, you been? <laughs> when, when, when did you? When did you? When did you stop being delusional? When I, I started.
start taking care of myself, when I start doing better for my mental health, and when I start, you know, doing better for myself. But even because most of the time it's like a fantasy. They say, well, what's your fantasy? What kind of wedding? I want to get married. No, I want to have a destination wedding. I well, want to do, I want to just do. jump in because I'm, I'm going to be quite sure. frankly honest with you. Sure. The woman that you just called out, a lot of people are going to put you in that category and call you delusional. So they can call me, call me delusional. And I'll tell you, yeah, I'm, I'm a little delulu. I'm a lot of things. But one thing is mom ain't raised no food. And I'm not messing with somebody that just because they have money, I got my own money. You don't do, do drugs? Do, do I do drugs? Yeah. What kind of drugs? To be more specific, crack, powder, weed. What you what you mean? What are you asking me that for? Because I'm trying to keep up with you, but it's going so many different ways. Like I said at the beginning, it's so very contradiction in one thing that what? you say. And okay. I'm, 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 not I'm honestly trying to follow you. Okay, I'm I'm sorry I'm kind of losing you here. If you want to move on to the next question, we can. What are your deal, deal breakers? My deal, deal breakers is dealing with somebody that doesn't like to communicate. Hold on a second. Do you drink? You gonna ask me? Do I do drugs? Do you drink? I do drink. I seem like and I drink? I smoke weed. And you do don't I have to look, look like you drink. I mean, I mean, there's do a, it look well, like I do I, drugs? I, I, I swear, hold on, real quick. We can go there if you want to, Frida. Now I'm trying to hold my tongue, but we I'm, can go on the way there if you want to. I'm not hold back from saying it's nothing. It's not about holding back from you. Listen, you. Here's the deal. I asked you if you did drugs, and I explained to you the reason why. So you can receive it or not. Because you, you couldn't the follow, what that's does you have to follow me? What type of drug? Even if I was doing drugs, how can you help me? You can't help me with nothing. What can you help me with? That wasn't, I can it, only it help wasn't necessarily the goal to help you. I think when you're the platform you, and you're like asking me, do I one. do drugs? Okay. Okay, let's move on to the question that you asked me. So you asked me, you said, what are my deal breakers? My deal breakers is somebody that... um. Let me see. Okay. I don't care about who you fucking. What the world? <laughs> okay. So my deal breakers are, um, hold on a second. I'm kind of zoned in. <laughs> Haters. All right. So let me see. I kind of just roll it everywhere, but um, my deal breaks is somebody that's dirty, that doesn't, you know, um, that that has no type of communication, that's not communicating, that's not, don't let me catch you in a lie. Don't let me catch you in a lie. You should be able, if you're interested in me, you should be able to communicate these things with me. Um, and that's it. Does he have to look a certain way? It doesn't have to look a certain way, but we need to be attracted to each other. Do we got to make a certain amount I of money? said that I'm looking for a white guy, preferably a vanilla type of guy. He got to be smart and he has to make, yes, he should make a certain amount of money. Like I would say at least he should have in his career, at least um, 75K to 80K is, is well for me. You want a white, white smart man that makes 75k to 80k yes or it could be more because oh, it, it depends be on how it's more so a yeah. white smart man that makes more than 80k yes have you ever dated a white smart man that makes more than 80k yes what happened to that relationship he was too emotionally spoiled <laughs> <laughs> when did you date him when you were in this school? what did you date him? Was he like your kitty garden sweetheart? No, he. This was like some years ago. How many? Years? I've dated an Italian guy before, but how many years I ago? Dated, oh, how many years ago? This was like ten, over oh, ten I, years ago. I know it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, maybe not preschool, high school. No, no, not high school. Yeah, dated. Y'all was in a relationship, or y'all went out on a date. We were in just a friendship. So you, so you never. So again, you're not yes. So you never dated a white man that makes eighty thousand dollars. You had a friendship with a white man that made over eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. So you just 
But I never been. Ago, you with... just said a second ago you don't want a liar, but you're a liar yourself. I said don't cut, don't let me catch you in a well, lie. How am I lying? How am I lying? Yes. How am I lying? How am I lying? Yes. How am I lying? How am I lying? How I asked you, did you ever date a white man that was smart that made 80 cats? Well, said, you yes. could just say no. I did ago. not. I have not dated a white guy. He was an Italian, but we were friends. This was a so long time when ago. I asked you the question, the answer should have been no, not yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. Can we move on, please? Yeah, we can move all the way on, all the way off the damn show. I'm not talking to you no more. I was waiting on her to do that. Good God. Why you took so long? I didn't understand. I know you're trying to get some you know, get your, get your views up on this stuff, but you try to embarrass her. That's a 40-year-old woman, 40, unemployed, on government assistance for years, looking for a smart, rich, white guy that makes about 80K. I wish you'd ask, like, why? Why he need to be a smart, rich, white guy and make 80K? Why it's not a smart, rich black guy that would make 80K? And why your old butt don't have a job? I mean, you can say all this stuff you want, but right now you still ain't said why you hadn't worked, why you're not working. But you see what I'm saying? They'll come on and say all this stuff, what they want, 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 not thinking what a rich, not rich, but a well-off white guy that's smart, what does he want with a 40-year-old woman who doesn't have a job or a career? And a child, so she's a single mother. She was stressing T Kendra out. It's I was sitting here dying laughing on the backside, and then Kendra about to go crazy. She's stressing out because she's like, because she hates to see other black women act like this. It kills her to see this. But see, Kevin tried to tell her a long time ago, over three years ago. But she didn't want to, she, she didn't want to drink the Kool-Aid then. But she's drinking it now. Now check out as she finished, uh, venting off this woman and then I'm gonna close it up. But y'all make sure let me see y'all comments. Why do you think she deserve a rich white guy make 80k? Smart I mean smart white guy to make 80k? Let me know. Ladies. I'm done with your ass. I try. I try. I try. Okay? I try. But one thing we're not going to do is keep catching your ass out and lie after lie after lie. Now free to go get your ass a job. Well, get your ass a job in 2024. Okay, get your shit together. And then, I don't know. Then the next thing you need to do, read it. Once you get the job, after you get your first paycheck, buy a notebook, okay? And we're going to draw white, 80K. Here's your man. The paper's already white, so that part is already filled in for your ass. I put 80K. Hang it on your wall, Frida. This is the closest you going to get your ass to a smart ass white man that makes 80 cat. Hang it up. Put it on the wall. Look at the shit every day. And there you go. Welcome to 2024. Been four years I've been hosting this show. And my bullshit tolerance is not that, it's not that strong anymore. I'm sorry. I have been able to listen to dreams. For the last four years, I'm tired. I'm tired. Four years after four years, you get tired. You get tired of hearing bullshit after four years. So, I'm going to introduce the Kendra G Make a Man package. It will include a motherfucking notebook, some crayons, crayons, <laughs> pencil, and some sheet of paper. Whites, black. And I'm going to have a beige one for you. So if you want an Asian man or a Hispanic man, because that's where y'all going to find these men at. You have to create them your damn self. That's it. It was a pop-up show. I'm not going to get my blood pressure high on a motherfucking pop-up show. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so you say Kendra done had enough. Like, I, 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 I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's too... Men been trying to say this for years. Ladies, I know y'all on my page and stuff, but y'all need to really pay attention how you guys are coming out and where y'all, you know, talking. This mess is getting real out here, and you guys don't understand. Men are going other places because our women are not 
not approaching us in the right way. Y'all approach us with save me type mentality, that poverty mentality. Uh, you need to come and pay for my bills, pay my car note, do all this stuff while I sit here and don't even have a job. But you better show up making six figures and take care of me and my kids by all the pookies in the neighborhood. And if you don't do that, you're not a man. You're not a real man. Because a real man will come in and take care of another woman's kids. That's the shit y'all tell us. And I'm telling you now, my kids ain't going to do it. None of my boys will not come home with no mess like that. And I'm just being honest. And y'all boys shouldn't come home with no mess like that. Because that's just going to stunt their growth and their, their progression in life. Those kids ain't going to never respect them like that. It ain't like back in the day when those kids would respect, you know, respect that stepfather. These days, no. Because the woman don't respect them. They just look at it as somebody taking care of when they get a certain age. They always split up. As soon as them kids get grown, it's just somehow it don't work out no more. And then you end up like this 40-year-old woman sitting here trying to find somebody to come in and save her. What? Y'all think these white men are out here stupid? These white dudes been on this game forever. Why do you think these white women try to stay so thin? They know they want these cooperative females that's in, like feminine, fit, and cooperative. No lie. See them at the gym. I go to the gym. I see more white women of all ages, and they're killing it. Killing it. Like I told you, I said, they have some nice little figures, but they face look old. But they'll be in shape. They will be in shape. And so when I try to put it out to our women, we need to get in that gym, get fit, feminine, and, and cooperative. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. But y'all see how it's going, though. More and more, our women are being single after 40. More and more of y'all out here. Y'all hanging out together, doing whatever online, whatever. Start your LLCs, what y'all getting into insurance, whatever the crap it is. Y'all just picking up jobs to kill the time. Let's just be real. When you should be coming off jobs and relaxing a little bit. I don't know who wants to do more work as you get older. Like I told my wife, no, you're supposed to be winding down, not trying to figure out to do more work. You'd be 60 and 70 talking about, oh, yeah, I got my Ph.D. I'm about to go to work. What the hell that look like? Well, guys, y'all let me know. Ladies, I'm not trying to be hard on you, but, you know, it is what it is. And y'all can talk about the men. Yeah, some of the men are sorry, so you should never let them in your life and let them between your legs and definitely should never let them put their seed inside of you. That's how I look at that. So you can't blame them if you allow them to do that. That's where it go. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Should the lady get herself a vanilla man and <laughs> a vanilla, a vanilla man that's 80K or more to come and save her out of her Section 8 or government assistance situation with her single lifestyle with her 15-year-old son and... I guess marry her and run off and be happily ever after. Why she smacked that gum and whatever. Y'all let me know. But until then, it is your boy. It is your boy as always. Mr. Nobody. And I'm going to get up out of here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and hit that notification. And I'm up out of here. Peace. All right, all right, all right.